guys, so um, in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate to you how you'll be able to set up your very own SumUp account. If you haven't already purchased your SumUp Air, uh, you'll be able to do that uh, just by following the link which is in the bio or I'll uh, leave a link in the comment section as well where you'll be able to order from. You will need to download the SumUp app which you can get on uh, Google Play Store or the App Store uh, and download that. What I'm going to do is go into uh, the app for you now, so if you just follow the video and I'll demonstrate what you will need to do. I'm going to you now um, how you can set up your sum up um, application. So in the top right hand corner you'll see uh, a figure and if you click on the figure this will take you to a menu. And um, via the menu, you will be able to uh, show your items in the checkout. You'll be able to organize your taxes. Um, you can set that so it automatically adds um, the amounts uh, necessary uh, when you're setting your prices. Uh, your payment methods as well. We click on that. So this is how uh, the customer can make purchase here. I've got the sum up air. Um, for the card reader, you can accept cash payments as well. You can either have that on or off. Um, however, you might choose to manage your own um, account. Account security, obviously, that's going to be passwords, etc. I'm not going to click on that because I don't want to um, show my passwords for obvious reasons. Uh, Tippings as well. So this is another great feature. So I'll just click on that. You can add uh, standard tipping. Uh, just by clicking this uh, and uh, for purchases under £10 customers will see an optional tip suggestion in whole amounts i.e. £1 etc as explained in the smart tipping which you can click on uh, alternatively you can set um, tip rates uh, just below by clicking on those and adjusting them however you see fit so I'm just going to click on that that's going to be fine okay um, so let's go back now uh, to printing as well if you do need to print receipts invoices etc that's possible to do you can enable um, receipt printing select a, pr uh, a printer and connect that I've clicked that one and uh, there are no printers around actually well there might there might be one uh, do, 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 do. I'll just deny that for now so um, I don't have a printer at hand with me but uh, it gives you an idea anyway um, of what you can do there. Employees as well. So this is if you have multiple employees, you can set up an employee account for them. Um, this will just take a moment to load, which it is doing now. Uh, doobie 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 doobie. That's just some uh, funny voiceover uh, to keep you entertained and enthralled. Um, it does take a moment to load. So employees, it looks like you don't have any employees yet. Okay, that is correct, I don't, but you can add them just by clicking on that. So I'm just gonna go back now um, because I don't want to add any employees. Yes, you can go back, I said. All right, I'll click this other one. Perhaps that might work, there we are. Support, if you want support, you can click support. And that's going to enable you to chat with us so you can chat directly. Um, but there are also here, you can see restricted business, some up air overview, some up solo, pricing fees, etc. Payout. So uh, there are a lot of frequently asked questions. You can find the information for those, no problem. Send a message, find out if your phone's compatible, etc. Uh, and so on and so forth. Cookies and preferences. Okay, so that's a profile part. Once you've set that up, you're good to go basically you can start accepting payments straight away and you can create payment links so I'm just going to click on payment links and here I've got a couple which I've put together already um, some which have been revoked as well which I've revoked because I've cancelled uh, the actual thing just for demonstration purposes uh, but here so I'll click on this one here and you can share the link you can revoke uh, do as you choose with that one once you uh, do that, at the bottom it says create a payment link. Again, uh, you can create new payment links if you want to do that. Invoices, let's go into invoices. 
Okay, so here's a really great way to create invoices. It can um, you can get started with the invoices. Start now. That'll take you through the process. Um, that gives you all the invoices, the drafts, unpaid, overdue, etc., and everything that you might need for that. Uh, let's click on online store. No, we'll go to items actually. Here are the items here. Add item, remove item, so on and so forth. I've just got a couple of paintings here, which you can see. 